Hi, welcome to DIY Tuesday with Oil Life. I'm Emily. I'm Jasmine. Nice to see you all here today. So today we're going to be talking about our um, what is it, bamboo and um, pine pine boxes. Thanks, so. <laughs> <laughs> Um And we're going to be just showing you some cool creative ideas that we have uh, for them today. And we are going to be playing a little game where all the, any comment questions we have for you, for every comment that you give, it'll be an entry to win one of the boxes that we're showcasing. So definitely be involved, stay active while we're talking to you um, so that you can hopefully win one of the boxes. Um, so our first comment question for you guys is how fast did you go from zero oils to 20 oils? Our boxes hold 20 oils, so we want to know what got you started, what were your favorite oils, like your first beginning out, uh, what were they, and like how fast did you get there? Um, and yeah. So like she said, today we're going to be talking about boxes, or maybe we'll be talking about how to think outside the box. Um, but most importantly, we're going to be talking about how to incorporate your essential oil collection into your home decor, something that maybe some of you are interested in, I'm interested in it, like how to make it more um, more hidden but accessible and fit into your to your everyday decor. Um, we're again, like Jasmine said, we're going to be doing um, a drawing from comments for entry to win uh, free boxes. So make sure you're commenting questions, um, what you think of what we're doing, anything that you think of around boxes or home decor. We'd love to hear it. Also, we're doing 33% off the boxes today until tomorrow at midnight. Um, that's June 20th at midnight, so tomorrow, 33% off. This is the pine box. It's normally $14.99. Is so, it 33 on both? Yeah, 33 on both. Cool. Um, so this one's normally $14.99, so it's roughly going to be about $10 with the $14 off, or the 33% off. We'll tell you a little bit later in the video why we chose 33% off. There's a reason. Um, and then the bamboo box is normally $19.99, and so after the 33% off, it's roughly $13 a box. So make sure you Dang. take advantage of that in the next 24 hours, a little bit over 24 hours, actually, because it's tomorrow, June 20th, until midnight. So take advantage of that. Hopefully, we'll inspire you to buy um, more than one. Um, so that's coming soon. So the question is, why boxes? Why, why is it important to store your essential oils in something like a box, and why would you choose a box? So there's three reasons we're going to go through. The first one is just to keep it contained and organized. It's somewhere to put all your oils and to, um, to have them in one place and to have them organized the way that you would like. Like for me, I put all of my oils just like in the cupboard, well before I made my box, and they were all just like in there and I would open it and I, my cupboard's kind of high so I have to like climb up and reach in and they would fall out and just get all over the place and it's such a pain to just pick up oils and if you didn't screw on the tops right, which I do a lot, they get all over the place and it's money just on the floor and it's sad. So boxes good <laughs> okay so the second reason is generally when you're um, storing essential oils it's important that they stay out of harsh environments like light and heat and so it, it's um, important to keep them in some kind of container whether it's a case um, or bag or box and so we want to keep them in a dark cool place um, for storage it'll help your essential oils last longer and keep their um, potency um, and then the third reason is that you have them out, but they're not out. So they're out, but not out. Um, and a reason you could do that is just for looks, like you want them out, but you don't want everyone to see that you have a pile of oils there. And also, if you have kids or animals around, it also keeps them contained and closed so that the kid, kids aren't you know, curious and get into them, or an animal like a cat doesn't accidentally smell an oil that's not good for it. Um, so those are our three reasons about why you would want to have a box um, or, or such storage. Um, so as Jasmine mentioned, she took a box home and she did some little home decorating on her box. And so she's going to share with you her DIY um, pine box. Yeah. Right so I call my box the budget box because I'm cheap and poor and I only had $20 <laughs> to go all out on this box. So I actually went to the Dollar Tree in Walmart and I got Sharpie markers and paint markers and I doodled on my box a little bit and I kind of just went to town on the one box just to give you all an idea of what you can do with different boxes without having to check out a kajillion. Um, so my first is the cover where it says wild and free and the paint went on so nice and the Sharpies like 
the finish on the pine boxes is super good for being crafty on it. Um, and the markers just went on really, really well. And then I did a little chevron on the sides of it, which I think it just looks cool when it opens. And if I didn't have this going on, I would have done it here too, just because I think it would look cool. And then I did a little henna design inside because I love henna. And I just feel like it like sparks the oil creativity and I love it. Um, and then to help with our, or like, to help with my organization a little more, I labeled on the sides and um, like up inside the lid of the box to kind of just help me know like, all right, this is where all my blends are. This one are for my little siblings that like to use oils because I don't want to give all my oils to them. So they have their own little section. Um, this is my favorites. And then I have my first aid because I do use my oils a lot for first aid. Um, and then random just to fill up my box and make it look better because I like when my box looks full. Um, and it helps because I don't have little labels on all of my oils and pulling them out just one at a time to try to figure out like which one I want. It's kind of a pain. Um, and so another, so like a common idea that I want you guys to comment on because I would personally really like to know this is like what top 20 oils would you put in your, in your box? And Think about this question as if you're winning because your entry is going to count or your comment is going to count as an entry. Um, and so imagine you in your oil box. What would you put in it? Which oils? Would you make one just for first aid? Would you make one for just your cooking oils? Um, for me, since I have little siblings still at home, I am going to bring home a box for them to craft for their own oils because they each have their own little diffusers in their room. And I just think it would be so fun for them to just... I mean, imagine it, just a fun little craft day. It's summer, kids get bored. Like, it's a good craft idea to do for, with, your, like, with your kids as a fun family activity. You do your own box, they do their box, which is Sharpies or Crayola markers, you know, whatever works for you. Um, and yeah, so we're also going to play a game, which this is your third time to comment and get your third entry in. Um, it's going to be for a $10 off coupon if you can guess the oils that I'm pointing to. So first, let me see which one. Don't pay attention to these. These aren't hints because I mixed them up a little bit before the video because I realized that it'd be too easy with my, my cheat codes here. So I want you to guess which oil this one is. Um, I'm not going to give any hints, so it's going to be kind of hard. If you're commenting how difficult it is, I might give you a little hint. Um, for this oil, and I'm going to give you three. We want only five guesses. That's your limit. Um, so this oil, this oil, and this oil. They could be common oils. They could be not. I try to get a little not common, so don't guess lavender because it's not lavender. Those aren't one of them. Ever. Lavender's like the holy grail of oils. It's not lavender. Um, but yeah, so you get five guesses. Those account as common entries to win your free box. So get guessing. Awesome. Thanks. So remember, that's five entries per, or five guesses per person. No more, please. Um, and again, that's for a $10 off coupon um, in the store or oillife.com. So make your guesses. We know it's difficult. We made it that way. So make your guesses. So we're going to do a little bit of Power tool, um, home shop DIY now. We're getting our um, construction on. I'm going to move these boxes maybe out of the way. Do you want me to move them? Just like. And this is so exciting. We haven't gotten to use power tools on air before. So, <laughs> so I'm going to show you a little DIY. This is my mock wall. Who wants a wall this color? Is that not the prettiest blue let ever? Us, let us know in the comments if you not. have a wall this color or you want a wall this color. Um, so because we have such a strong wall color here, we decided just to use the bamboo boxes and not alter them in any way. And I'm going to show you how I attach these to the wall. They seriously um, look so slick. And how you might be able to attach them too. And so the cool thing about this is that we've taken um, a 20 box, and because now we're going to use three, I'm going to add a third one. We've now increased your storage to 60 on the wall in a very uh, aesthetic way to fit into your home, home decor. So you can include more of your essential oil collection. Um, and also the reason that we chose a 33% off is because the two things I'm going to show you include sets of three boxes. 
And if you buy three boxes, um, essentially the third box is coming to you for free based on a 33% off. That is so logic. Remember that if you want it. <laughs> in court, if you want to do this on your walls, um, buy three. Basically, the third one's free. They smell That's, so good, too. Um, to, all through today and tomorrow, June 20th, before midnight. Um, you can purchase your boxes, hopefully three or more. Um, so, yeah, so let's get started. I'm just going to get my extra box and show you what I did. I haven't seen this yet, so this is exciting. We're, we're all new here. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm still in the frame, but... Um, so, I used a T-square um, to mark off my markings so that they're all level, um, but obviously if you are working on a wall, you would use a level. Um, there's lots of different styles of those out there. I had the, um, the, the awesome opportunity to have a board, and so I could use a T-square. It made it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, so I have some markings on my board already. So um, as you've noticed, as we've been opening and closing the boxes, each box comes with this grid inside. So the first step is to take um, the grid out, okay? Um, and and then, those just slip out easy, right? Yeah. Like, so the, it's pretty... Some of them are more easier than other, but generally they're pretty easy to pull out. Um, sometimes they do slip apart. They're meant to do that. And so just know it's meant to do that, and you can put them back together when you put your box back together. Sweet. Yeah, so, and then I just, this is the top of the grid in either corner, and so I just drilled two holes in the back panel of the box, and I mm -hmm. used a 2 by 4 underneath my box, so I put it underneath my box and then used my power drill to do that, so that I didn't harm um, the work surface that I was working on. I like that. Bam. DIY construction <laughs> table. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to point out, and I'll show you a little bit on here real quick, is that there might be a concern hanging these boxes on the wall that your oils might, the oil bottles might slip out, or that if the lid's not on quite tight because they're laying sideways, they might leak. Um, so this box right here, here's this box. I just took a dowel, a tiny dowel you can buy at the craft store. You can also get um, uh, just like a wedge of wood to do it with. What are um, they called? Dowels? A dowel? I've never heard I of that. I might say it funny. It's D-O-W-E-L-L, -L, I think. But you know what I'm talking about. It's <laughs> this thing. Um, so yeah, so I just um, cut a piece off, probably about half inch tall, and I just stuck it under the corner. So this one is sticking out. The bottom of the box is sticking out about a half inch from the wall. So then it's angled so that your oils won't spill or won't fall out. If you like turned it, would they be able to see that or no? Like, or like laid it. Can you see the dowel? Dowel? Yeah, do <laughs> yeah. dowel. <laughs> yep, that. <laughs> We're learning new things today. Okay, so um, I also did it a different way on this box. Um, I took the dowel, a longer piece of it, and just laid it sideways and glued it on there with wood glue. If you wanted to secure it more, you could use tiny nails or wood staples. Um, I just use wood glue for this demonstration. That's awesome. Okay, so. We're just going to line this box up on my markings here so it's level with the rest of them. And I'm going to get my power tool over here. This is so cool. I love it. I love the three. I think that and would look so nice on a wall. I love power tools, guys. There's something empowering about them, like being a woman and having a drill in your hand. It's great. It's a good feeling. I'm not holding it, so I don't know, but I'm feeling Emily. It is a good feeling. <laughs> Just need to put pressure on the box so it stays down once that screw goes into that back wall piece. If you were doing this on a real wall, oh, wow. you might um, create um, some pilot holes in the wall, um, or if you're not screwing directly into studs, you would use some. Um, screw sinkers. I don't remember what exactly they're called, but you can find them at your um, home supply store. They'll know what you're talking about if you tell them. It's, uh, it just makes sure that, that the screw is secure in drywall because there's not a stud there, if not wood, that you're screwing into. Um, so we'll just go ahead and slide this back in. Do you want to use like some of my hopefully, oils? Hopefully you go. Hold it up. Yeah, we can slide some of your oil in. Being, give you all an idea of what it'll look like. It's not going in easy because it doesn't like me right now. 
Okay. Oh, maybe I had it in backwards. There we go. Went in. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to comment, guys, on what you think the oils are. This one. Where is it? This one and this little tiny one. Okay. We want a your five comments. Five mil. That's a that's a clue. I know. It's, it could be. If it could be a clue. It could not be a clue. Um, so yeah. So this is what it looks like. Again, this one has like a quarter inch raised to it, so it's a little bit on an angle. This one has a half inch, and this one's flat against the wall. So we'll have Jasmine just put a couple oils in there, whichever box you can reach. And again, look, I've spaced them enough that the lids don't hit each other, but they can all be open at the same time. And we've turned 20 oils into 60 on your wall, just like that. And you don't have to buy the huge kits or um, try and mount those on your wall or figure out how to incorporate those into your home decor. And it's um, so cute. Like, how cool is this? Yes. This is just something new. And, and like, they're not even pulling this. out of the flat one. So we know that it works. And is so, it earthquake proof or is that too much to ask? <laughs> Probably too much to ask. I, I don't know about that, <laughs> but it works. Um, and then I was gonna say one other thing about that. I can't remember, oh, but we do have some exciting new boxes and also just general oil storage ideas coming soon probably the mid to late august in time for convention so watch for yeah. those we're really excited about those um so you Everything might need cool to happens. zoom in i'm not sure if you need to zoom in or not but this is my second idea for how to use three boxes on a wall she's really targeting sophistication here whereas so, i'm more preschool <laughs> so right now it's really popular to have kind of collages on your wall and the kind of different textures and different depths things going on as well as um Right now, I've been going to the Parade of Homes in Utah. If any of you are in Utah, how many of you have been going to that? But <laughs> if those that you know, aren't in Utah, it's basically like you, get, you get to go and um, tour a bunch of model homes. Some of them are already bought or purchased. We get to go and see these amazing homes decorated that is, in like, really my cool favorite ways. Thing to do. Yeah, oh, all it's the ideas. so much fun. But one thing that's really popular right now, I've noticed that all the decor, there's always a metallic accent going on. Um, can be rose gold, gold, bronze, silver. Oh, rose gold. Jackie, okay. what is your favorite rose gold? Rose gold. Who doesn't love rose gold? Like ever since first, did it start? I think it started out with like rose gold jewelry is when yeah. I first started seeing it, and it's just they have like silver now. Are you serious? Yeah, rose gold silverware. What? And I was <laughs> buying spray paint last night for this project, and there was rose gold. She splurged. I don't need it. I bought it. <laughs> rose gold. So tell us in the comments <laughs> what your favorite metallic accent this season is. Um, for this particular project, we chose gold, so I, these are the pine boxes, um, and I went ahead and spray painted two of them gold. Did you have to do like multiple coats or anything? Um, or? With the gold spray paint, I did not because it was a heavier spray paint. Okay. With the white spray paint, I did. Okay. Um, Good to know. So, and then we just added um, some horticulture um, frames or artwork um, to the the collage so this like would be a it. really fun thing to put on your wall in your living room or your office to incorporate your essential oil collection this one is my favorite so this is um our the box i spray painted white it's like and a secret garden yeah is, that's what's about and to i hung right a now. frame on front of it so it's a picture when it's closed and you can open it and get your oils out mind blown okay so, how yes. did you even come up with that is my like what was your inspiration for that the wall collages but different depths. Like to and hide I was like, okay, well, how would I? A picture I was, frame. I was thinking about how to like make different depths, and I was like, ooh, I could put a picture on top of this, and then stick out more. And then look, I could put these pictures behind them. She's crazy. Couldn't do that normally. I love it. Anyways, so, so just so like, in case you're wondering, a craft inspiration. These boxes do hold your 10 mil rollers and your uh, 10 milliliter um, bottles. And this well. is standing like, it's like standing straight up. So the roller yeah, bottles are not falling. falling out. Totally fine. And all of these are secured flat, unlike the bamboo where I did different angles. Um, so yeah. So let us know what you think in the comments. We are excited to hear. Um, I'm excited to see it. Like who commented the most, who's going to win their free box and who's going to guess yeah, which so oils. We'll keep taking comments also for the next 24 hours. So that will also close tomorrow, June 20th. Um, at midnight so share with your friends get them engaged in the conversation tag them if you need like mental prep time to think about these oils and like which ones you're gonna choose give yourself yeah. mental time you have 24 hours okay 
So I just got corrected and I've said it so many times wrong in the video. My apologies. Tomorrow is the 21st. So <laughs> we're behind the times, cameraman. <laughs> Give a shout out to Sage, everyone, for catching that. Um, so tomorrow, June 21st at midnight, that's both for the sell, the 33% off the boxes. Again, if you buy three, you're basically getting the third one free. That's both the bamboo holds 20 and the pine holds 20. That's an awesome um, deal. We'll like, include the link in the uh, in the comments or in the description after the video is done. Yeah. I'm thinking like, okay, hey, one for you and then like one for your kids or if you're going to have like a team party, get like everyone in the team gets one and you guys have a craft team party day. How fun would that be? Like, I mean, like I love yeah, you can buy more than three. I love when We're not limited. Yeah. <laughs> I um, think it, that'd be a fun team idea. Yeah, totally. A totally fun team idea craft night. And then everyone has a team box. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. That'd be so fun. So remember that. So 33% off and keep commenting, tag people, all of that until tomorrow, June 21st yes. at midnight. We want to hear um, from you guys. So also comment. keep guessing what that oil is. That's for Should actually for again? an entry in t for a $10 off coupon oh, code. Oops. So make sure you enter for this that one. as well. This one. Um, this we know it's hard, one. five guesses each. We know it's a difficult cause, but we know you're up for it because you love your oils and you know what the tops of them look like. They're different. <laughs> They're all <laughs> the ones with the stick, I know. Okay, uh, a couple other reminders. Um, we wanted to talk too about our summer lookbook. And um, we talked about this on Tuesday, but just remember, we do highlight people from our social platforms, specifically Instagram, in our lookbook. We're doing two hashtags this summer. Tomorrow, June 21st, is the first day of summer. So we're doing two special hashtags over the summer. Hashtag summer of success and hashtag summer of sharing. Make sure to use those hashtags on your posts all summer as you're being successful in your teams and in your business building as you're sharing oils and sharing your essential oil lifestyle. Um, and we will include those um, in the autumn lookbook and some of our other marketing media. media. So make sure you're doing that. And Hashtag then, us in the success of, of you guys yeah, decorating your boxes of your, and be your showcased. Box, your box decorating. That'd be awesome. We would love to see it. It's, if you do something like this, show us on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. If you do something this, like this, please show us Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. This would, I want to see this. So tag, please do this tag and us. show us. Tag us oil life um, or hashtag oil life. And then I have one question for you, Jasmine, before we end. Do you know what, what Friday is? Friday. This Friday? Yeah, this Friday. No, oh, what's this Friday? Really? Feature you Friday? love dogs. Wait. Oh, yes, it is Feature Friday. Oh, it's I Feature was Friday. Wait, <laughs> hey, do you like dogs? I love dogs. How do you not know then? Is it National Dog Day? It's bring. Yes, cameraman. Yeah, it's. it's yeah, it's. Uh, National Dog Day, I'm pretty sure. Wait, I was right. Close, close, guys. It's bring it your dog <gasps> to work <gasps> day. Do you have a dog? I have two dogs. Do oh. I have to pick one? That's not fair. So this... <laughs> you, 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 just bring one. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't, You're going to bring your dog? I'm so excited. Yes. Oh my gosh, okay, she's so, so cute. We have another uh, Can staff be in the right here. I think of an employee. <laughs> She's going to be in the Future Friday video, I just decided. We can definitely talk about that. So we have yeah. another staff member who is actually bringing their dog on Friday. And we're going to be doing, um, for our Future Friday, we are going to be doing the Fido and Fido, sorry, I just mixed up. Fido and Felix <laughs> um, make and take workshop kit with Anthony from EO Tools. He's going to be guiding us through that. And he's going to be um, talking about dogs and essential oils and working with um, one of, uh, again, one of our employees' dogs that she's going to be bringing in and maybe what? some extra dogs, Jasmine's what dogs, dogs she didn't know she had them. Um, I'm Did not sure. Find? But yeah, okay, so let's go to that 9.30 a.m. Friday. We're going live. Be there. We will be doing giveaways and percentages off that kit. Um, so come learn about how to use essential oils in your, with your dogs. We are so excited. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, keep those comments coming. Yeah. We and want to give stuff if away. If you want to see my dog too, comment. So then oh, I can yeah. show it to my boss and be like, hey, look, everyone wants to see my dog. He's so cute, guys. Say it. More yes. hearts. How about this? Hi. The more you react with a heart to our video. Oh, guys, please. Jasmine, bring in her dog. I need to bring my dog to work. Please. <laughs> so heart our video. Yeah. And Jasmine's dog will be there too. All right. Thank you again so much. We will see you on Friday. Bye.